So for our next demonstration, we're sitting in a zoom room here. You'll notice that this has a neat bar pro uh, device uh, mounted on top of the displays here. What's unique about this particular device is it supports up to three screens natively. Um, so you'll see uh, we have different layout configuration options. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, but one of the most common use cases for uh, rooms, video conference rooms, collaboration spaces is just content sharing. So it could happen inside of a meeting or even just outside of a, a meeting if I'm uh, meeting locally with some team members. And so here I am on the Zoom desktop client. And when I'm in the home tab here, uh, you'll notice that there's a share screen icon built right into the Zoom desktop client. And so when I go ahead and I click that, what's nice about this is it automatically recognizes that I'm in proximity of this Neatbar Pro Zoom Room system and it automatically shares my content. So it's that one click wireless content sharing experience and we don't need to run HDMI cables to every table. We can really clean up the, the conference room uh, table experience and deliver that simple user experience for them to quickly get their work done. So for our next demonstration here, I wanna showcase the seamlessness and the flexibility of using the Zoom clients on mobile or desktop in conjunction with a Zoom room. We're still in here with this neat bar pro uh, Zoom room system. And I'm on the desktop client here, uh, and I, what we have the ability to do when I walk into a space, I can pair with that room system. It's automatically gonna detect that I'm in proximity of this particular system. And why is that helpful? When I wanna go ahead and join a meeting or start a new meeting, I can initiate it from the desktop client here. And the first thing it's gonna ask is whether I wanna start this from the room or start it from my computer. And of course, in this case, I wanna use the room. So I'll go ahead and start that meeting from the room and it's gonna go ahead and um, initiate this experience. And what's nice about this is that now I'm in the meeting and I have all of the normal Zoom meeting controls that I'm used to when I'm hosting or joining meetings from the desktop client. And so I can control the meeting here. You'll notice my audio and video is gonna be on the room system here, but the ability to pair for my own personal device makes it easy for me to get into my personal meetings, even if I didn't go ahead and, and, and reserve this room or schedule the room in advance. So a lot of flexibility to allow users to walk into spaces, quickly sit down and get their work done, join that meeting or initiate that, that meeting. So for our next demonstration here, we wanna to continue to showcase the flexibility of using your personal devices in conjunction with a Zoom Room. So we're still here in the Neatbar Pro Zoom Room and I have my mobile room controller app. And what's nice about this is it is uh, identical to the interface of the Zoom Room controller. So as a user, I can walk in here, everything I can do on a Zoom Room controller, I can do from my personal device, uh, including uh, I can actually go ahead and join into the meeting that this room was scheduled for without ever touching that Zoom Room controller. So I'll go ahead and turn the volume down here. What's nice about this is that you'll see the in-meeting controls are identical. And I can go ahead and unmute the system, remute it, and all of the, the controls that we're used to uh, on the Zoom Room controller, I have all of those capabilities at my fingertips on my personal device. So super helpful. Uh, some people might not be comfortable touching uh, the room controller touchscreen interface, so they can use their personal devices. You can actually have up to 10 people pair with a room, uh, so it's really helpful for people to participate and help control that meeting the way that they want to from their own personal devices. For our next demonstration here, we wanna showcase some additional ways that users can interact with their Zoom Room systems. So we showed the ability to leverage my mobile device or my laptop to pair with the room, share content wirelessly, join into meetings, control the in-meeting experience. What we wanna show here is Zoom's AI with our built-in Zoom Room's voice commands. So I don't even have to touch any device if I don't want to. I could simply walk in here and say, hello Zoom, join meeting. Yes. And so just like that, I initiated a meeting. This was already scheduled. I walked in, used my voice commands, and started that meeting on the Zoom Room system. Super powerful, all driven from Zoom, Zoom's AI.